Alhamdulillah, this is the rock that is beneath the dome, at the Dome of the Rock section of Masjid Al-Aqsa. And I say it is the section of Masjid Al-Aqsa because Masjid Al-Aqsa has more than one musalla in it. This is one of the prayer places inside Masjid Al-Aqsa. This is the rock. Um, it is not levitating. It's a cave that is beneath it. There's an access point there, but there's also an entrance uh, that leads down towards um, praying downstairs. It's a place definitely that would have been visited by the prophets and messengers, would have been prayed in it by the righteous in the eras of past. The dome is a very spectacular structure, subhanAllah. But in particular, I'm going to point out a few important hallmarks that relate to it, inshaAllah. So on the inside dome, you will see there it says, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum, la ta'khudu sinatun wa la nawm. This is, of course, a reminder to the believers that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the provider of all things uh, in our life, in our blessings, and that the kingdom all belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On the inside, written in larger print, you can see that there are epitaphs that mention the conquest that was brought about and the rebuilding uh, of this masjid and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favored the righteous and the believers. Uh, as you could see here, Al-Amil, the person who was used by Allah, who worked hard, Salah al-Din, Ibn Yusuf, Al-Ayyubi, Rahmatullahi alayhi. And this was the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon him. But you could see that the scripture of those two verses is uh, a newer age script. If you look now to the second layers, you could see the initial kind of uh, motives that would have been displayed when this structure was first built by Abdul Malik ibn Marwan. In fact, the scriptures that were written, they were uh, something that adorned it. And the, the artisans that um, were brought in, some of them were, uh, of course, taught in the methods uh, that predated predated the cultural Islamic revolu art uh, revolution that we are well aware of. So you see the motives are very green. There's very no depictions, of course, of any uh, living beings. But it's also in a Hellenistic kind of style. It's in a style that is very Byzantine, mashallah. When we look at the inner dome, and you see that there is a scripture that is written here. It says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And it begins, Taha ma anzalna alayka al Qur'an li tashqa illa tadkiratan li man yaksha. So on the inside is Surah Taha. And this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, reflection that connects us to Surah to Musa alayhi salam. And of course, the importance of his connection here. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa lahu al asma al husna. وَهَلْ أَتَاكَ حَدِيثُ مُوسَىٰ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ And it continues there on from there, mashaAllah. Now that isn't the most ancient uh, depictions and writings. What you do find is on the inner uh, areas of the, the dome uh, and surrounding the dome is a writing that is very Kufic and from the very early generations. So you could see at the top area of the wall here, it says Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And then it begins with a dua that is well loved. It's actually the dua that I was instructing about as we were walking to pray Salatul Fajr. So the dua is La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. So in the center of your screen it says la sharika lah. There's no dots over the sheen. Uh, there's no two dots beneath the Y. As you can see, the dots had not yet been introduced. لَهُ الْمُلْكُ وَلَهُ الْحَمْدُ يُحْيِي وَيُمِيتُ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ And then it begins to discuss the Prophet وسلم, Muhammad Rasulullah. And then the next verse, it begins, إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allahumma salli wa sallim wa zid wa barik ala abdika wa rasulika muhammad and that becomes a very beautiful kind of inscription 
from the very early generations at the time of Abdul Malik ibn Marwan when it was first built. Now the ceiling here is very Ottoman-esque. It's a wooden ceiling painted above it. Um, and this was a re, uh, rebuilding at the time of uh, Suleiman the Magnificent. He reconstituted an upgrade to the masjid. For those of you who've been to the Prophet's Masjid, you would see, for example, at the top of the pillars, very similar things to what you find here. Very Ottoman style. MashaAllah, tabarakAllah. I thought I'd just point out some of those highlights and uh, some of the things that would be of importance for you to make note of. I pray that we get to travel here together at some point. It's your brother Yahya Ibrahim uh, on tour here uh, in the blessedness of Masjid Al-Aqsa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring us here together. بإذن الله تعالى